Hello and welcome to the VBA Jetpack course by Trump Excel. I'm Sumit Bansal and in this video you will learn about variables in VBA. So let's get started. Here I have the movie list with the rankings, movie name, rating and the release date. And this is the same list that we have used in the previous videos. Let me go to VB editor by pressing Alt F11. And here I have a module where we do a couple of things. We add a new movie. So we use range A1, then we use an Excel down offset 10, and this is something that we have already covered in previous videos. And what this does is it adds a number here which is one more than the previous number. So here it would add 13. And similarly, we add the movie name Forest Come, we add the rating, and we add the date here. Now let's say that when we add these, we also display a message box here or we display a pop-up message which says that Forrest Gump has been added to the list or let's say Forrest Gump uh, with the rating of this released on this has been added to the list so to do that we would use something called as message box now don't worry if you do not know about it this is something that we would cover in subsequent videos but just for the purpose of this uh, video we would use this functionality message box and a message box is something that would give you a prompt as the name suggests it would show you a pop-up and here all we are doing is we are saying forest gump was added that's it now let's see when we go through the code what happens so we come here and then I would step into the code so I press F8 I press F8 it uh, enters 13 here then I press F8 again forest gum comes here then the rating and then the date and as soon as I press F8 again I get this message box which says forest gum was added now this is a very very simple code and in real life your codes are really going to be this simple here what we have done is we have hard coded the value forest come but in real life coding it would be really difficult for you to do this because you may be using this a lot of times in the code and then if you change this say for example if we add another movie which is inception then we would have to change this everywhere in this case it's only at two places but in real life it could be 10 places or 20 places and there could be more than one things that you need to change say for example rating and date and everything and that is where variables come into picture so let me show you first how to use variable to have this name forest come added to the list and then show you uh, the message box let's delete this let's go back to VB editor and here I would use dim and a dim means a dimension and this is a way you declare a variable in VBA and we say dim movie name movie name is the name of my variable that I'll be using and as soon as I type as you would see this IntelliSense because now it understands that I'm going to add a variable and I type string and as I'm typing string you can see that it shows me uh, these names which match the string the the text that I've already written I say dim movie name as string and then I would give a value to this variable which would be movie name is equal to oops it would be movie name is equal to forest gum now what I've done is instead of using this name forest gum I can use this variable and when I have to change this name then instead of changing it everywhere I can simply change the name here and I don't need to tweak with my code because it already has this variable name let's see what I mean here what I will do is instead of changing everything I would simply change the name here and here so let uh, when you use a variable then you need not put it in double quotes so it would be movie name ampersand was added let's get out of the break mode and let's again go through this code one by one so now let's put this cursor here I would step into you by using keyboard shortcut F8 it comes here it this is initialized see when I hover over it it is an empty uh, variable now but as soon as I hit F8 and now when I hover over it it says movie name is equal to forest gum because forest gum value has come into movie name and now as I execute it 13 comes here the name comes here rating date and as soon as I click on it it says forest gump was added now there's a space issue here I can add a space here and then it would all be sorted but 
if you follow this example you would understand the value of using variables I don't need to change this name and again and again I can simply change the variable now that we have identified how variables can be useful let's understand the kinds of variable there are in VBA so to do that I would click here in string and I would press F1 to open help uh, if you are using Excel 2010 or prior versions then the help is inbuilt with VBA but in 2013 uh, help is online so I have to go online to do this and here I go to visual basic language reference and here I click on data types data type summary and here I have all the data types that I can use and let's go through some of these so that we have a better understanding uh, the first one is byte and these have different storage size and it's okay to use any variable as in uh, variables that can hold uh, really large values if you have a lot of space or you have a small code but otherwise it's uh, a good idea to be prudent while you're choosing the data type because you don't want to overburden the VBA and don't want to take a lot of time while you're executing the code so here a byte would take one byte storage and you can give value from 0 to 255 in boolean you can store only true or false in integer it has a, a wide range it's minus 32,768 to 32,767 and then long is bigger and long long is even bigger and then you can choose accordingly what you want maybe if you're talking about say uh, revenue numbers that you may want to go to long here because revenue numbers can be this large but if you're just talking about say uh, something like a rating a movie rating then the movie rating uh, ranges from 0 to 10 so you can even do away with a byte these are different different uh, variables that you can use uh, some other vari variables are like date here and a date would be from January 100 to December 31 9999 now this is uh, enough for any date that we take in any of our program uh, so we can use date variable then we have object we would talk about it then we have string that we used for movie name and here uh, it takes 10 bytes plus string length and it's from 0 to approximately 2 billion uh, and then there are other variables if you do not know what kind of variable you would be using you can simply leave it or you can use a variant so it could be any numerical value or any uh, variable and string so you can use variant otherwise just leave it out if you're not sure now let's go back and use these variables in our code here so we already have a variable movie name as string and we've used movie name we have initialized it as far as come and then we use movie name to enter this detail let me also bring up the workbook and let's use variables now so here I would have dim movie rating and since movie rating is something which would vary only from 0 to 10 but has a decimal place I would have to use something that can use a decimal place if I go back to uh, this data type summary you would see that here I have single which is single precision floating point so now I can take single so I would use this as the variable type and then again I would have div movie release as date now let's try one thing what I've done here is I have declared these variables and now I need to initialize it so here movie name is equal to forest gum movie rating is equal to 8.7 and movie release now one more thing that I want to show you here is that when you declare the variables and you press you type some part of the variable name and then you press control spacebar it will show you these variable names here and you can then use it so in case you're using a lot of variables this IntelliSense could be really helpful because I have so many variable names it starts with the same word movie then I can choose from here then I can select movie release is equal to and let's say it's the same date 6 July 1994 now what I can do is I can replace these things with the variable name so here I can type MOV rating and here I can type MOV release now I can use this and this uh, macro to add uh, the movie to the list let's see how it works we'll step into the code so I press F8 and 
as soon as I press F8 again, you can see and hover over movie name, it shows forest come, which means that now this variable has this value. Then again, I press F8, movie rating is 8.7 and movie release date is 6 7 1994. And when we press F8, then these values get entered here and then I press F8 again and it says forest comp was added. Now let me show you something and here is the benefit of using variables. If I type something which is not a date type, here movie release is a date type but here say I type my name which is a string. See what happens. I'll again start executing this code. Let me delete this line press alt f11 and now when I again start going through the code see what happens movie name it's initialized movie rating it's done and as soon as I press f8 again it says type mismatch because here we have already told VBA that movie release would be a date data type and I'm giving it a string which is unacceptable that is why it gives me an error and had I not been using variables this could have easily passed and I would have had this string here instead of the release date but since I'm using variables it, VBA is prompting me to correct this error because I'm giving a data type which does not suit the variable data type so here in this case I would have to correct this I would go and I would have to give it the right date which is 6 July 1994 and now if I press F8 again this thing is executed perfectly now one issue that you might face when you are using variables is that you might accidentally sometimes misspell some variables so in this case let's say I misspell the variable movie name and now when I run this code I press F8 and I step through this code let me delete this line from here and then run the code now when I'm stepping through this code it enters 13 here but here the variable has been misspelled so now when I run through this line it doesn't do anything and then it enters the rating and the date but this cell remains empty the reason here is that Excel VBA considers this to be another variable and this variable is empty so now since I've misspelled this I do not get the right result to avoid such kind of problems let's get out of the edit uh, the step in mode now to avoid such kind of issues it's a good idea to have this text option explicit written here and what this does is if I try and run this code let's say I delete this line and I again go back and run this code see what happens I press F8 and as soon as I do that it says variable not defined because option explicit would make it mandatory for a user to declare each and every variable and when it comes here and identifies that there is a variable which has not been declared it would highlight it and if there is a spelling error or if there is a spelling error or something else then I can quickly understand that this is the issue and I can correct it so now if I do this I can run this code and it would work, work perfectly now you don't need to manually write this line again and again you can uh, automatically get it go to tools options and here have this option checked require variable declaration and when you have this checked and you uh, insert a new module this line would automatically be there so if you're using a lot of variables it's a good thing to have another thing I want to talk about is the scope of variables so let's say that in this module I'm using these variables and I have movie name movie rating movies release as date and when this module this uh, sub is complete and it has been executed then these variables uh, are no longer required and the value get lost so for example here let's say I create another sub and I say movie name pop up and now and now here I would type message box movie name was added I would use an ampersand here so what I've done is I've replicated the same line here uh, and let's see what happens when we run this code so let's first run this code I step through this code this adds whatever is here it says forest comp was added now I come here and I run this and it says variable not defined which means that the variable which is defined in one sub 
is limited only to that sub. If I'm using it here, I would have to declare it again. And if you want to avoid that, you can declare a variable at the top here. Say for example, if I declare a variable here, then I don't need to declare it again and again. I can remove this and now I would not get this error if I run this. So let's see, let's again do this. Let me delete this line. And now let me first execute this. Let me get out of the break mode and now let me execute this code. Here I get everything that is required. It says forest comp was added. Now I go to this code and I go through it and it again says forest comp was added because now what I've done is I say that this variable can be used across subs so for all the subs that are there they can use this variable movie name so that I don't need to declare it again and again and I don't need to initialize it again and again I can do it once in any of the subs and then that would be valid now what if you want this variable to be used across modules. If that is the case, then you can use public keyword to declare the variable. Instead of dim, use public. And if you use public, then you can use this variable movie name across modules. So this is the scope of a, of a, a variable. If you do not declare it outside the sub, then it is limited within that sub. But if you want to use it across subs, use dim outside uh, at the top. And if you want to use it across modules, use public. So this is how uh, you can use variables in VBA in Excel. Uh, a very good place to start would be the help menu where you go through the data type summary and get a hang of variables. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.